What's up everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel if you're coming back or welcome to the channel if you're just, just finding us. Um, always working on something. That's that's the name of the channel. Uh, I figured I'd, I'd name it that because we always working on something and, and yet I have failed to post anything other than my old videos of of me working on something. So uh, I got I got to get y'all in there and, and let y'all see what I do all the time. I just, it's hard for me to uh, remember to get the camera out. Hard for me to take the time to get the camera out because once I'm dedicated to something, I just go at it a hundred miles an hour and I, I'm ready to get it over with and get it done. But uh, I just replaced uh, U-joints, carrier bearing, and four shocks on a semi this weekend. And uh, I didn't film or take a picture and not one bit of it. So that would have been a good one to show you all some of my new new tools that I used on it. The uh, U-joint press, OEM brand U-joint press. Man, that thing worked like a dream. If I wouldn't have had that, I would have been beating the fool out of them things forever. But uh, it worked great. I'll, I'll show you all that one of these days. Um, uh, I guess everything's just been kind of tools lately. I'm trying to get back into swing of things on, on recording and stuff. I, I'm not the best in the world, but anyway... Let's get into the video. This this is what I want to show you all today. This is a, a set of eBay uh, pliers that I bought. Here, let's check them out now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Zoom this jewel out. Here we go. There's a uh, there's another video maybe for those of y'all that's already got a three quarter earthquake from Harbor Freight. That's a beast. And then there's the um, there's the press I was talking about for the U-joints right there. That's the uh, heavy-duty style press. They make them in all sizes, but I'll, I'll show you all that later on. I wish I would have showed a demonstration of it, but uh, I didn't. I should have took the time, but I didn't. I'm sorry. Let's see here what we got. Close this drawer. All righty. Let me get my fingers out of the way of the camera. I am not the best cameraman, so y'all bear with me. I'm going to learn this. Uh... This is a, a CMT brand, not the Country Music Channel, but uh, Country Music Television. But this is a CMT brand tool. I just uh, kind of a cheapie off of eBay. Um, I think it was like 40 bucks or something. Nine piece, 11 inch pliers. Let me move that so you can see what all comes in it. Small circle nose, middle circle nose, big circle nose. Power diagonal cutting nose pliers. That's just like a regular pair of cutting pliers. Um, straight needle nose pliers, S-shaped plier, 45 degree needle nose plier, and a 90 degree needle nose plier. Um, I was working on a truck, that same truck I just repaired the other day. Um, I actually fixed the air line, an uh, air leak on it, on an airline, a quarter inch airline. Let me see if I got it fitting right here. Oh yeah, right there, matter of fact. Um, I was working on this, as a matter of fact. And I was trying to, uh, this was so far down beside the motor and the frame, it was it was down far enough to where I couldn't stand hardly and, and reach over the fender, inner fender, and all the bracketry and stuff that's, that's uh, attached to it to reach it. So I had to stack me up some bricks and stand on the bricks to be able to get to it. But anyway... You gotta press these in. These are quick fittings. This is DOT uh, quick fitting airline fittings. The way these work is you shove the airline in there. There's an O-ring inside here, and it seals your your uh, airline. Well, these O-rings will get a little uh, little worn and tethered, just dry rotted, and they'll they'll fall apart in there and they'll start leaking. So this side was leaking, and um, I could press this down. But I couldn't get in there far enough to grab this airline and pull it out as I pressed it. So I thought to myself, well, hell, if I had a pair of round needle nose, I could have pressed, I could have pressed the fitting in, grabbed the hose, and pulled it out. So that's what made me get these. But uh, anyway, I made do. I got it done. Everything worked out good. I cut my cut my thumb wide open here. They ain't gonna be able to see it, but it's it's about healed up now. I cut it right across the right across it with a razor knife trying to trim the airline. But anyway, um this is a pretty decent bargain for something that you ain't gonna use all the time, I guess. Uh I mean maybe if you use them on a daily basis you might could get a little better brand, you know what I mean? But I mean these they seem to be okay. Uh 
I've used them for a couple of little things, just a just a needle nose. I got a regular pair of needle nose, but these are long. They're all 11, 11 inches. So uh, you got an S, S shaped needle nose. To kind of get in the tight areas and stuff, reach up in somewhere, grab something, pull it out. Uh, 45 degree needle nose plier, 45. And then you got your, um, got your uh, 90 degree here. So that's for like really reaching in behind something, grabbing it, pulling it out and around and, and putting back in if you need to thermostat or something like that, if it's in a bad spot. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show y'all, you know, for the people that, that already know stuff about this, you know, I mean, like I said before, in my other videos, you know, just, just kind of give it a pass if you want to, because I'm, I'm just trying to show things that people might could use for a decent price and um get by with you know weekend warriors and stuff i mean that's pretty much all i am just a shade tree weekend warrior mechanic you know i don't have no business or nothing like that but i do uh i do work on things from time to time and uh well i work on things all the time but i work on things from time to time that i need some special pliers to get in special areas so anyway that's what i wanted to share with y'all today uh item number four zero four eight four zero nine four eight it was on um <clears throat> excuse me on ebay nine piece 11 inch long reach plier set so if y'all are in need for something like that check them out even got a little flat pretty much like a set of needle nose but it's a flat set grab a little more area but uh yeah you got you got the different size circles circle pliers too so like when i showed you a minute ago would probably be used for a quarter that would probably be used for something like a i don't know a half down and maybe a little over and then you got probably what would be used for a half five eighths three quarters somewhere along in there um this is a quarter inch fit in here so you can kind of see how much room you got that would actually be good for a quarter that fits tight but it ain't going to tighten down on the hose see that one i got to become a better cameraman that one will let's see uh we got a piece right here matter of fact here's a piece of quarter inch airline off the semi pneumatic airline so that that won't even fit it to be honest with you so I really, <laughs> I really should have checked that out before I showed you, but this is live, uncut. But you could bake that up with some tape. You could wrap you some tape around there on each side of it and, and then grab it, you know, so. But anyway, you got to make, make what you got work, you know. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you checking it out. Um, trying to cover that light up. I've been noticing that in my, my videos that I, when I point it to my face, that that light shining right in my in my video. <laughs> I'm sorry about that too. But uh, anyway, if y'all like what we got going on, um, I'll post some stuff working on things here soon. Don't worry, y'all. I'll, I'll get it. Uh, it's just whenever I go to do something, I'm 100 miles an hour, and I just go right into it and and never stop, you know. But uh, I had to take the time to set it up. But uh, here's another tool we freight the other day. We might do a video on it nice uh flashlight the bronze flashlight it's pretty sweet it's pretty nice i think they you know one of them competitive lights like with snap on or whichever one it was matte coat it's got that light that bends and stuff it's, it's a nice light got it on sale had the coupon got it for 20 bucks but anyway y'all y'all take it easy i appreciate y'all stopping back by to check us out um like and subscribe if you want to, but it ain't no big deal. I just put stuff out here to help people out, you know. But uh, anyway, y'all have a good one. I'll see you next time.